Consumer investigator Steve Sprecia is digging deeper and explains the science behind the dangerous concepts of improperly using disinfectants. It's true that household chemicals and alcohol can do a number on the virus, effectively killing it. And in fact, labels on many disinfectants say they are effective in killing the human coronavirus. But they are only for cleaning surfaces, not for the human body, as the director of Duke's Health Policy Center told me. As a former FDA commissioner, what do you think about these calls about injecting disinfectants into the body? That's uh, definitely not a good idea. Ingesting disinfectants or anything like that is not, uh, it is still poisonous. It's, it's not a good idea uh, for, the, for the treatments. Disinfection is important, but not for ingestion or, or for uh, preventing you or for improving uh, your outcome if you have or at risk for, for uh, COVID-19. And in fact, the makers of Lysol immediately published this warning on their company website saying, under no circumstances should our products be injected or ingested into the human body by any route. As for sunlight killing the virus, I addressed that myth more than a month ago. The myth is sun exposure kills the coronavirus. All you need is a little sun on your life to kill COVID-19. Those are the claims supposedly made by UNICEF on a list of recommendations which included exposing yourself to the sun for two hours to get rid of the virus. Now, this myth plays on the actual fact that when you're exposed to the sun, ultraviolet B rays in sunlight react with the cholesterol in your skin cells, providing the energy for vitamin D synthesis. That allows your body to create a little vitamin D. But there's a big difference between vitamin D and a cure for COVID-19. There is no evidence that sun exposure kills the coronavirus. Medical experts say instead of taking advice from those who don't know, you need to take advice from those who are qualified. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecia.